Hi everybody, it's Sage Winners here and we are in the sign of Capricorn, not Capricorn, Capricorn. It is hard to pronounce and it is a very hard working sign. Let's go. Capricorns are very ambitious and that's why their mascot is the goat. They like to climb to the top, even the top of the treetops. And everybody thinks that caps are buttoned up, but Tiger Woods is a great example of a Capricorn. Super focused, super determined, super competitive, super hardworking, super Capricorn. But we all know that other side of Tiger, don't we? Don't we? He is wild sexually. Wild. But Tiger made the mistake of marrying a fellow Capricorn, which can be a good match unless you cheat. Capricorn women tend to marry up. I don't want no stuff. The First Lady of Britain and the First Lady of the United States of America are both Capricorns. Talk about determined. Heidi Fleiss hated school and dropped out as a teenager and started a very successful babysitting service. And she sold a few years later using the same format. Capricorns are very practical, no-nonsense people. Dolly Parton is a Capricorn and she wrote two of the most Capricorn songs ever, Nine to Five and Jolene. Jolene, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. She's just being real clear with Jolene. So get the f out and don't take my fing man. I fought that red headed woman like a wildcat. And I think we can say that Capricorn rules boxing. Capricorns are always business people at heart. George Foreman was one of the greatest boxers who ever lived. And look at him now. Great tasting, healthier food in minutes. They are the business people of the Zodiac and they dress the part. And Capricorns are very sexy. Capricorn women have great bone structure because Capricorn rules the bones and the skeleton. They have great skeletal beauty. Five bones connected to the hip bone. Caps like money. And we've got three caps on dollar bills right now. And they work hard for their money. Look at Betty White. What is she, 105 now? Capricorns can be very creative, and they can be very conservative, and sometimes they can be a little of both. And by the way, Rush Limbaugh is known for his super conservative political views, but did you know he made millions selling neckties? The Rush Limbaugh collection. Neckties are nooses, people. <laughs> Sometimes Capricorns can be accused of being miserable. And they can be very wise, like these two Russian wise men. But if you have hemophilia, go see a doctor. Capricorns can actually be very shy and don't like too much attention, like Dame Maggie Smith and Howard Hughes and Phil Spector, but sometimes they like a lot of attention. And they are so dedicated. Sherry Lewis was such a dedicated ventriloquist that she even testified before Congress in 1993 as Lamb Chop. I and the star. Capricorns are very organized and very loyal. Chicago, Chicago. And Capricorns can be hilarious, like Jim Carrey and Andy Kaufman. And guess who played Andy Kaufman? 
Thank you very much. So Christmas falls under the sign of Capricorn, and even though it's a very jovial time, what do we end up doing? We end up returning most of our gifts because Capricorn is very fiscally conservative. All the crap that we bought during the Sagittarius season is now returned under the Capricorn season. And your crap comes in the mail because of a Capricorn. Jingle bells, jingle bells. We have our New Year's resolutions, making a list, checking it twice. So happy Capricorn, everybody. Have fun this holiday season. I love you all and hope to see you soon. Bye.